Hello, hello, and hello, my friends. And welcome to probably one of the most noisiest intros I have ever done. Welcome to Transport Tycoon, or, as it's now known, Open TTD, the free source game version which was made by one man with too much spare time on his hands, personally. I am going to play an entire game as long as possible for this. Uh, just gonna quickly check to see everything's all right. Drive on the right. No, we drive on the left in um, England. That really does annoy me. On settings, like buying for competitors. Now spending, now spending money, and I'm buying shares. Yes, I want to be able to buy out my opponent, so I can laugh. Whatever. Uh, let's. Yeah, shut up. I can do this. We're gonna have five of these. I don't know what that's money about. Shut up. And we are going to create a game full of the Zazcorp transport branch. See, we're gonna do it in the for in the nice snowy biome. We're gonna start it in on the first of January, 1950. And everything else. I'm gonna randomize this. Let's go. First thing first, we're going to pause the game and take a look around to see what is what. Holy God, this place is huge. <laughs> so this is my company with the awesome green, the awesome moustache. First things first, I want to be orange because that's what I am like. Everything's going to be orange. I have my name. Du -du -du. And the company, as everyone knows, as I've already said. Uh, what was I called it? The Z Corp, didn't I? <laughs> Transporting your stuff since January 1st, 1950. And I can keep my face like that because I look like a badass. And first things first. You need to take a nice thing first to notice with Transport Tycoon is take a lay of your land and see if there's anything you can do also straight away to cre to start earning money. Obviously most people would want to start with a bus route, but that is honestly one of the very bad ideas you can do. First things first, what I can see is I've got two little coal mines here. These things produce coal obviously. And if you, you can actually figure out what accepts it. So, as you can see here, coal is accepted by power stations, which are these bad boys here. And we've got two coal mines there, and all the way down here we have a power station, and actually we've got another coal mine over here, actually. That's quite nice. So, straight away, my bread and butter, the coal mine industry, is... Actually, I need to unpause the game, don't I? My bread and butter is coal. It is how I earn my money. So straight away I am going to build loads of different platforms here and I'm gonna get free tracks here and ruin the land and ruin the farmland. I don't give a crap about farmland. As you can tell here I have now I am going to be linking all of these coal mines up to the power station just there. Let's start with a nice short one because then I can straight away start earning money. I quite like this game, this um, version of Transport Tycoon, because they fixed a lot of the stuff which is a pain in the arse in the old game. See, so that's the one I want. I don't know why there's no AI have been founded just yet. I am thinking that they are just simply. I don't know, it's not scared of that I've done something wrong with this transport tycoon. I don't care though, because this is a fun game. The overall aim is to create, try and create a successful transport business. Like right here, I have now finally set it up. So we're going to build ourselves a train depot here. And create our first vehicle. So obviously you're going to want, you want to train, I've got a standard wheels to dash eight. It's the first train you can get. You can get others, but it takes a while. And I also want coal trucks, because I am transporting coal here. 
I'll get five. Every and here's something important to know: every square of a train station here can take two parts of a train. So a four can take two, four, six, eight piece, eight bits of a train, including the train itself. So first, you want to set up where it's go and full load any cargo. Otherwise, it'll just go there and go. Meh. I'll go back to somewhere else now. Next, you've got to go to where I wanted to go, aka Brunford South. Un click on load all and click no loading so it doesn't load the coal you have just loaded up there. Otherwise, that's completely stupid. And then I just click on the little red little, little flag and my train is rolling out. And this is awesome because I can now have my first business bit venture underway. And coal is really your bread and butter here. Got my nice little reward, let me, because let us disable all of these. We do coal. If I compare it to something like food, it's got a much, much better pay rate over days in transit. So coals obviously work get a lot, a lot more in the long run than say passengers, because obviously if you keep them there for over 200 days, you're doing something wrong. But gold is the best because it tends to. S I didn't check. Yeah, gold. No, that's food. Gold tends to be the best up until about 130 days, then it drops below. Huh. So coal is really your bread and butter in this industry. It's how you make your money, and it's how you stay profitable. Hence why I am building train coal train lines as far as the eye can see. I've also got a lot, a lot of farms around here. There is as well. And there's this. Yeah, that's a food processing plant. So I could potentially also take food everywhere. If I so chose. But for now, we're just going to finish linking up these lovely train line here. Where's my train? There it is. Put that up here. Look along here. Look at it. Sup, city? I'm just driving a train right past you. I hope you don't mind. Actually, what I care? You're not. I'm not. Do not um, part of my business venture just yet. So why do I care? What do you think of me? Oops. I don't want that because I can't have a train running. T two trains running so close to each other like that. The way stuff can sometimes go wrong. Like the explodey kind of wrong. <laughs> no one wants an exploding train. Trust me. That you do not want that bad press. Oh, hello. Subsidy offer. First mail service. Now here's something important, but here's something quite in interesting to know. Subsidy offers basically are like <coughs> basically if I if you did this, like you set up a mail service between Tranfield, which is over here, and Greenford over there. I could get a year's subsidy, in other words, I would get bonuses from those two places for delivering mail. But because I'm not doing mail or any vehicles such yet, I don't give a crap about that and I'm just going to continue building my train lines because they're to my most profitable venture. It also helps you actually have money. So where's my train? Oh, it's already off. Awesome. So I'm just going to quickly put down that there and head over here. Here's the important thing to know your finances. You do actually start with a hundred thousand loan, so you will have to pay that back to the bank, otherwise you they will be charging you a lot of interest money, which can be quite painful in the long run. So here's my very first shipment. Why is there no music? Let's see So I'm now loading it. Where's my music? Why is there no music? Seriously. It's kind of sad. I love the music in this game. No subsidies offered, but I just made some money. I just made £6,694. Not enough to take me out of the red from how much I've already spent. Still a nice healthy amount. I'll take it. It should also help me if... <laughs> this is quite good. Your company value is not worth much until you actually pay off your loan. So I'm still worth a pound. 
I also gotta choose like my home base. Like where would I actually like base myself? Where does Z Corp base itself? I could base myself here in Drad Town, maybe. What line is this? This is Brunford Town power station. So Brunford actually likes me. Shout out about those. I'm gonna be in Brunford. This lovely little village here. Boosh. And there's my little shack. You think for a hundred thousand pound startup loan I can afford something better than that? But nope. I'm that poor. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, eventually I will be showing like some really advanced like some really awesome ways to double up your trains on train lines like this but for now I have little funds but I'm gonna have to do this because we want to keep moving keep improving ourselves I've got to borrow about 30,000 from the bank two three four get fifth one fifth one and there we go we now have our second train being set up so our second lot of coal is now off there we go, we now have two trains running on the line to get coal to ourselves there we go yay, yay. they arrived how much money do I actually make from this? 7,000, so that's a fairly decent amount actually from what I'm making. And as you can tell here, I have two mines which are going to be sending me lots of lovely stuff. Sent born think me I'm, I am mediocre. Then again, I don't give a crap about them because they are not my demographic. However, that cost me 14,000 to build that much train track. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to be poor for quite some time. I better stop, actually. I just realised I'm actually about to go into the negatives. Yeah, this is how I spend most of my game. I spend most of my game stuck in, like, one pound mark until I get my ridiculous train set up going. If you look at this, this will actually become a ridiculously complicated train system. It will eventually. What's over here? I've got you got paper. I don't have a power station there. We're gonna have a coal near, but there's two power stations actually. Three power now why is there that many power stations everywhere? Kind of stupid. Oop, did that train have a little breakdown? No, I haven't had a breakdown. He just decided to stop off there. Okay. Kind of odd, but whatever's. That's still loading at, set at Lowbourne Cross Coal Mine. Oh, he's off. We've got our coal network. Hells yeah. This is how it usually does work. You just set up with one nice big coal network I start with. Also, there's actually oil right there. The Lowbourne Cross. So I could almost set up a coal thing there, an old oil thing, if I can find an oil refinery nearby. Where's the nearest oil refinery? Ugh, I can't see any big burning fires in the landscape. Kind of irritating. I will figure out why this music's not playing. This kind of makes me sad. This game just doesn't feel right without the music. I probably needed to restart the game, actually, <laughs> and that would fix the music. Oh well. Here comes the second train. Just in time, because I'm at negative 1,000 pounds. Yeah, I promise I'll pay you, drivers. Just as soon as you deliver your coal. I promise you I'll pay you. That is how we operate at Z Corp. Transport branch. We pay you as soon as you deliver our good shit for us. And I shouldn't have said that. I should have said to crap. Actually, no, that's even what. Oh, it's a good word for it. Mm. So, just going to deliver this stuff up at Bruntford. 
This coal mine is going to be overloaded with coal. It's going to be ridiculous. Yay, we're back in the positives. New gold mine under construction. Ah, that's quite nice to know. Here's our second coal train. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, I made 9,000 from that one. Okay, so these ones from far away actually do earn a decent amount. Because the further your things have to travel, the better value your goods are when they arrive. So, as you can tell, this is going to be worth a lot, this line. Provided these places do not drop in productivity, which can happen. Which sucks, like no tomorrow. So there we go, we set up our little train there. Got to wait for some more money though to build up the train system, unless I want to borrow more. Not advisable. So what I can do instead, since this is a nice long train line, I'm going to set up the future of for a second train. Because this is going to be quite clever. This is a very clever system, this is. I can just get the right angle. There we go. Uh, yeah, that way. Oops. I'll explain this in just one second. I'm just going to make sure I don't screw it up. Let's see if we're going to do that. You put lights here, 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 and here. And I should have actually put that one there. Create the track. It's quite nice you get a refund in tracks here, so it's quite nice. There. Now, this may look confusing, that thing, but if I actually get another train, it's actually log very, very simple logic. Basically, what happens is, say you have a train coming from Zenbud Mines, yep? Now, and I also have a train coming from Run from South. So what happens is that train will be coming along, coming along, coming along, and this train obviously will be coming along, climbing up. That train is going to reach this trunk junction here first. So what's going to happen is it's going to go up here and get stopped by the traffic by these traffic lights. And this train is going to pass through here, past the train. That light's going to turn green and we'll let the train continue on. So basically it's kind of like a uh, give way sort of track system in a sense. Oop. No such way I've done. AI is dummy and won't do anything. Ah. I actually need that is why the AI is not working. Technically we do have a company against us that just don't have any scripts to work. Okay, so that actually is slightly stupid of me. Because if you have loads of AI this can become quite an interesting game. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna leave it at this. Zazcorp is nice and founded. Z Corp on twelfth January. There's actually one thing I'm going to show is what this place can actually become. This is like one of my sandbox games. This is what your train system can become if you are in have too much spare time on your hands. It is ridiculous. Like this. All this stuff all of these farms are linked up. They're delivering food, they're delivering grain, they're doing cows. All to this one little factory here. As you can see, there's trains running everywhere. There's ridiculous, complicated junctions with other trains passing by. They're delivering food. There's other junctions being delivered here. There's food. There's a food train here heading to pick up some more goods. That train there, I think, is waiting. Yep, it's just waiting for that train to move past the junction. It should hopefully move that train. Well, got to move. Huh, okay. Yeah, this is the problem when my train line gets this complicated, the train sometimes will stop for no reason. As you can see, I've also got a bus route picking up coal here, a little coal business coming up here. Sending coal to Trent Bridge South. I've got a bank system, I've got bus.